WhatsApp mates. If you're like me and you own a budget with a very old laptop, I'm gonna show you in this uh, short tutorial how to use Hashcat on Google Collab on the cloud for free. And it will give you amazing results. I managed to get 360,000 combination per second with Google GPU. So let's begin. First, I'm gonna generate a random number in order to use it as a password to our Wi-Fi capture file. If you already have a capture file that contains the WPA handshake with the password, you can step forward. I do not want to waste your time and it's quite self-explanatory. So I have set up an access point with the password that is the random number we just generated. I will use Hermon NG in order to sniff the password and catch the handshake. As you can see, I kill all the processes. Then I will change the wireless alpha card I have to monitor mode. Then let's sniff all the network around us with AeroDump. And as you can see, there is the CP Breeze. That's the access point I just created with the password. Use the AeroDump syntax. Now let's connect to this access point while we're capturing the handshake. As you can see, we got it. Capture file has been created. We can use Wireshark to take a look at the packets and see the handshake session. Just filter with EN pool. Let's convert the cap file to an Ashka file type. You can use the Kali Hashcat tool or just upload it to Hashcat website. Then we will download the Hashcat file and I will upload this file to Filebin in order it will have access via the web with the public IP. Now search for PengLab in GitHub repository. Let's start the lab. Let's choose runtime GPU. Google usually give us 12 hours. And let's choose uh, what we would like to install on our machine. In this case, I change the hash cut value to true and I will uh, use the SSH shell. I would not use Worldly, so any other app, uh, software. Just run it, let it run. And when the circle stops spinning, it's been it finished the procedure. Now let's install hash cut. It will take about two minutes. And you will see a small V tuck sign after it will finish. Okay, it's finished. Okay, now let's run the cell, set it up, click on the icon, let it run. It will take a while, about two minutes. And when it will finish, you will get, you can see the SSH certificate and access via the net. It's a service that uh, allows us to connect via proxy. It's called Cloudfare. Uh, we will we'll use it in a moment. I'll just show you how to use it on your Kali machine. But first, let's check which GPU we have got. As you can see, we got T4. It's a monster. It's really fast GPU. Now I will copy two parts of codes. One, the GPU driver will be loaded when we log into the SSH uh, session. And the other one, it's less important, but you can use it. It's in order that our machine won't disconnect and the GPU will be available. I will add those commands in the video description. Let's install now the Cloudflare client in order to connect our lab on Google Collab. Basically, Cloudflare is kind of a proxy that will give us access to our machine on the Collab environment. Just download the packet from the Cloudflare website, the Linux one, and run dpkg minus i for install and install it. Now let's go back to the Google Collab window and choose and copy the command to connect to the SSH server. Just type yes and then we copy the password that has been provided. Okay, and we're inside. Now let's navigate to the content directory and then to the Ashcat directory and as you can see it has been installed upload the hashcat file from filebin.net but you can use any other site to our machine with wget and as you can see the file has been uploaded 
Now we will uh, run the attack. The syntax is hashcat minus m and 22,000 for uh, WPA2, it's the Wi Fi uh, encryption, minus A space 3 for boot force, then the file location that we're going to use. And in this case, I use mask of 8 digits, it will make our life much easier. Ashcat now it should use only digit for this password. Give it super user permissions and let's run it. Give it a couple of seconds and we click S to get the status. And as you can see, we're getting hash rate of 360,000 hashes per second. It's crazy. In my virtual machine, I got to 10,000. If I install Kali natively on my laptop, I get to 15,000 per second. So it's really fast and it will probably break it in less than two minutes. Okay, as you can see, we got the correct password. It has been restored. Let's take a look at the pod file. It will contain the hash and the password we just restore. Now you can keep restore any password from any file you have. And if you finish work with Google Collab, don't forget to change the runtime from GPU back to none because Google allocate only 12 hours and the clock is ticking. So it's better to change it back to none that you can use it later. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. You can like and subscribe and I wish you all the best and have a nice day.